in many engineering applications we often have to deal with the voltages that has a relationship with some properties that vary logarithmically and that's where the existence of dbm con comes in and the examples are the transmission of the rf wave through the atmosphere the antenna gain and so on and so forth so we will now understand the voltage and dbm relationship and before that we want to know the ratio of the power if we have a power p2 and p1 their ratio one way to express their ratio is just divide p2 by p1 another way to express is to take the logarithmic to the base 10 and multiply the whole thing by 10 you get a, a quantity that we call db so for example if uh, p2 is 10 times of p1 then log 10 to the base 10 will be 10 and then they will call that the power is 10 db that means the power increased by 10 10 db in the same way the power increase in db can be found by this formula now when we don't we we don't know what the initial power was in that case we express it as db but when we fix this power with respect to which we are measuring this power we call it as dbm dbm is an absolute value db is a relative value so dbm is related to the power as 10 log p2 divided by 10 to the power minus 3 that means if we are given p2 in watts we can find its value in dbm or if they are given a power in dbm we can find the p2 and there comes the concept of the voltage let us say we have a resistor and that has a resistance r and we know the voltage across it as let's say v2 and the power on this resistor can be expressed as p2 is equal to v2 square by r if we substitute this thing in this formula we get dbm and the voltage relationship instead of v2 let's call it v the relationship between the voltage and the dbm becomes dbm is equal to 10 log v square by r 10 to the power minus 3 to the base 10 in most cases this especially if we are dealing with the rf circuits this resistance r is 50 ohm It's like a load a 50 ohm load or something like that in that case the dbm becomes 10 log v square by 50 to 10 to the power minus 3 to the base 50 let's look at some examples in if we are given that if we measure a voltage and that voltage comes out to be 50 square root of 50 volts this is for the sake of this the square root of 50 volts will be 7 point something 7 square is 49 so i have taken 7 point something as a voltage we are measure on the oscilloscope and we see that this voltage is 50 uh, uh square root of 50 volt and we need to find out the dbm value power in dbm across that resistor we can find dbm is equal to 10 log 50 square root of 50 square divided by 15 to 10 to the power minus 3 50 square square root of 50 square is 50 50 50 cancels 10 to the power 3 goes up becomes 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 10 to the power 3 log to the base 10 is 3 comes outside so this become 30 so this so we say that there is a 30 dbm power across a 50 ohm resistor that has a 7 point something voltage across it so this is the conversion of voltage into dbm let's take another example if we measure 10 volt across a resistor of 50 ohm then what is the dbm voltage across that resistor so we get dbm 10 log 10 square v square divided by 15 to 10 to the power minus 3 0 0 cancels 5 into 2 is 10 2 and 10 to the power minus 3 goes up becomes 10 to the power plus 3 10 log to 2 into 10 to the power 3 to the base 10 log a into log b is log a plus log b log 10 to the power 3 becomes 3 because 10 log 10 is 1 and log 2 is 0.3010 so this thing will become 10 multiplied by 3.3 or 33 so if we say that there is a 33 dbm 33 dbm 
power across a for example an amplifier you should think that it has a 10 volt voltage across it let's look at one and final exam if dbm is equal to 20 if you say that there's a 20 dbm power across a load or a maybe a transistor amplifier output at 50 ohm and that is a 50 ohm resistance and what is the if you measure the voltage across it what will that be the dbm is 10 log v square by r into the power minus e to the base 10 r is 50 and we are given a 20 dbm so 20 comes here we need to find out v square so v 10 we can divide this 20 by 10 we get we get 2 here and then 10 to the power 2 is equal to v square by 50 to 10 power minus 3 and from here we can find v square which i have calculated right here v square is 5 because 10 to the power minus 3 and 10 to the power 2 becomes 10 to the power minus 1 into 50 is 5 and we will be something like 2.23 something or like that. So these are the DBM and uh, voltage relationships and concepts. There is a for, uh, the, the calculator. We can find it at the link below and where you can put the value of the voltage here or the DBM here and find the other value. The conversion between V and DBM.